Alrighty, hi everyone, I am Blaze here. So in this one, I'm going to talk about the different particular song twists that you would want to use. There's different scenarios. Um, Velius. So let's get into it, shall we? So let's first talk about what songs you'd want to use in a group. So let me load up my spell set for group. Actually, I need to modify this a little bit. Because Ink Slitch's Ascens is better than that slow, like I mentioned in the previous video. So this is grouping regular and let me damage shield. All right. So let's get into it. So if you're grouping in Velius, what I would recommend playing kind of depends on the scenario, if you need to run far for pulls or not. But in general, these are kind of the bread and butter that you're going to want to use. You're definitely going to want to use uh, Ink Slitch's Assonance for a, for a slow. But if you don't have that, or attack speed slow, but if you don't have that, then you might want to use like Largo's Assonant Binding. But you're going to have to sacrifice one of these songs to do that. Next one you'll probably want to use absolutely is Cantata of Replenishment for HP and Mana. Um, definitely this one's not replaceable. McVaxius is Rousing Vondo, which is a haste with the damage shield. And then uh, let's see. I'd say the third best play is Niz Melody of Preservation, which is a extra HP regen, but this is what it is. So it increases strength. It has a little bit of a rune to it, but it's also extra HP regen, and it can be modified by stringed instruments. So let's actually show how much it can be, how much extra HP regen you can go up to. So right now I'm at eight. And I'm going to be using a 14 mod stringed instrument, or 2.4 mod. And it goes up to 55 from 8. So that would be... Calculator out. <clears throat> 47 extra HP regen. There's another HP regen that does... You could play... Salma Mystic Shielding, which boosts magic resist. <clears throat> which, uh, where is it? Salma Mystic Shielding is full of 41. The only thing is it's a singing song. So it can't boost HP regen as high. But let's show it anyway. So Kentata and Salma Mystic. So it only goes up to 44, which is definitely not as much. It's uh, 11 less HP than if you were to use Cantata. But, I mean, you get the extra magic resist. The only problem I have with Salma Mystic and Nibs is that because they have a little bit of a rune effect on them, if your tank gets casted on, uh, these will get broken off. And then in the terms of the last slot, if I have to run a lot to pull, I definitely want to keep Celos up just so it helps me speed up the, the length of the pulls. But if I don't have to go very far for pulling, if I don't have to pull at all in a group, I will often do a second damage shield. So like Psalm of Cooling. The damage shields that you can use being these four. Psalm of Purity, Psalm of Cooling, Vitality, Warmth. Use one to your own discretion. Um... Like if you're fighting a mob that you do need extra fire resist, you know, use cooling. Or if you need extra cold resist, use some of warmth, whatever it might be, disease, poison. Um, but if you don't need any specific resist, my go-to is cooling because it has one extra effect that the other damage shields don't have. Ultra vision. They all pretty much have the same amount of damage shield. Um, they all boost resists up to their equivalent level, all the same amount of AC boost. 
but uh, Soma Cooling is the only one that has the extra thing of Ultra Vision, which as a human helps me see a lot better in the uh, low light situations. Let me see if I can show any of the benefit. And it's daytime, so it won't really matter, but yeah. So those are the main ones that I would particularly use in a group now of 22. I'm making timestamps here. So let's talk about if you are in a raid. What do you want to do? Let's load it up. So raids are a little bit different. Um, it just it depends if you need resists or you don't, and what role that you're playing as the bard in that raid. So let's get into it. If you need to play resists, this applies for all different scenarios. Let me boost the size of this. So if you are in a raid and you need resists, you are going to want to play Guardian Rhythms. Guardian Rhythms, this one, it stacks with everything. So it's a boost to magic resist that stacks with pretty much every single other resist. So this one's a guaranteed you want to play this one. Now, the question is, uh, what do you want to play for the second resist, second stack of resist? So it depends. If you need extra fire and cold resist, you'll want to play elemental rhythms. Or if you need extra poison and disease resist, you'll want to play purifying rhythms. This goes for any group. And uh, there are other options. I mean, you can use Salma Mystic Shielding for to the magic resist component. I found of this is just equivalent to these ones. They, these all boost magic resist up to the same level, pretty much. But Asama Mystic Shielding has extra HP regen. The only problem I mentioned with it is that rune effect. So if that if some if people in your group are getting casted on, this will get broken off, and you you'll lose that HP bonus, and you'll lose all the extra magic resist. Whereas these will stay up even if you get casted on. So these are actually preferable if you really do need resist, or you really do need the extra magic resist too, beyond Guardian. I'd play these two, Elemental or Purifying. Um, but if you really don't need extra magic resist, these targeted resists are pretty good as well. But uh, a point to make is that, yeah, Guardian stacks with everything. But there are some songs that don't stack with each other. So let's talk about that. So the ones that don't stack are the Elemental and Purifying. They don't stack uh, with Psalm of Mystic or uh, any of these Damage Shield ones. They won't stack. And if you happen to play Psalm of Mystic Shielding, it won't stack with Nivs. But um, so long as you don't play Mystic Shielding, uh, Nivs will stack with any of the other resists. So Nivs will stack with Elemental Purifying, it'll stack with the Damage Shield, all that. But it won't stack if you happen to play Mystic Shielding. That's one thing to keep in mind. Um, so that's the resist that you would want to play. So you want to have two slots available for the resist. But now let's talk about what would you want to play. Let me point down. So the resist. 9.24. So in terms of resist, what would you... I mean, in terms of if you're uh, in a raid and you're in the tank group, what would you want to play? So if you were in a tank group, you are going to want to play, ideally, McVaxius Rousing Rondo at level 57. Because this one is a uh, damage shield that can be boosted by brass instruments. 
you're going to want to play a second damage shield, ideally, if you don't need resist. If you do need resist, then you probably can't play Psalm of Cooling or the those targeted ones. But uh, Psalm of Cooling, this is the second stacking damage shield that will go on with McVaxius. So I've noticed I'm able to get it up to... 38 with my epic I can get it up to 38 points of damage with the epic and then if I add on the singing steel bracer damage shield it goes up to 47 and I think I did pure tone I did a test with pure tone which is one of the disciplines that bards get and it went up to the 70s crazily enough the damage shield was up in the 70s range which was really nice. So it it definitely if you have a mage damage shield stacked on top of that and pure tone, you could be getting a DS in like maybe the one tens, one twenties. Um uh, the next one that you'd want to play if you're in the tank group. I like to play Nivs just because of the extra it, it gives you a little extra strength. And extra HP regen. I like Cantana because usually you have at least one caster in the group, but at least the Cantata also has stamina regen a bit, so those tanks can get back, so they can taunt more or use their abilities. I think disciplines can burn some stamina too, so you'll need that. So typically, yeah, that's this, these are the four that I would play in a tank group. There's some alternates that you could swap in, like. Um, you could do some rune songs like Shield of Song combined with uh, Nilipis March of the Wii. But I find the runes of these particular songs are so small that they're not even really worth playing. They just get beat off in one hit, and then you have to wait a whole eight, uh, eight seconds to get another one back up. You'd be better served by having something else. So those are the four that I use in a tank. Um, now, in terms of if I was playing in a caster group, a pure caster group, I would likely be playing this twist. So I'd likely be playing uh, Probably be these four. So Nivs and Cantata, obviously, you want to boost it's the most HP regen, the most ma uh, magic re mana regen that you can put out. Cinder's LSG, this boosts wisdom and intelligence. And then you don't really need a melee buff, so Celos is fine, just for extra run speed. Or you could help them out in a different way. You could play your AoE Snare. Or uh, oftentimes, it's really best for the bard that's in the caster group to play occlusion. But I'll talk about that in a moment. I am done. So that was 13. Okay. And now, in terms of if you're in the DPS group, a DPS group, you don't have to worry about much of that. What I would play is full options. So McVaxius, if you look at the uh, if you look at the wiki, it's only a haste of about 20% or so. It's actually one of the slowest hastes that bards have. You actually have a better one, level 50, which is 30% haste. And then you also have Vilia's a little bit earlier than that, which is, uh, oh, where is it? Vilia's. Oh, level 54. It's a 45% haste. So you have an option between a 20, 30, and 45% haste. Now there's issues with them so let's bring them up actually I want to bring up composition of Ravage as well 
but let's look up Vilias. So these are the four songs we're looking at. So 45% haste with Vilias, 20% with McVaxius, and 30% with Versus of Victory. So the problem is this. Right now in Velius, there's a cap at level 60 of having 200% on haste. So if you play a haste song on people in your group that will put them over 200, it won't work. So what I mean is that uh, let's take versus a victory. So this is a 30% haste. So if you were at 171% haste and you played versus a victory, this the haste effect of this versus a victory spell would not work. It would put you at 201, so it wouldn't take effect. That's something that's very important to keep in mind. So that's why I almost never play Vilia's Chorus of Celerity. It's 45%. It's the fastest haste you have. The problem with it is that most DPS people that you're going to have in your group are going to have a haste belt. They're going to have a haste cloak. They're going to have VOG or something by an enchanter. So they're already going to be at maybe 160, 170. Then you have the Bard Epic, which is 55% on top of all this stuff. It's not going to land. It's not going to have any effects at all. So I, I never really use Vilius at all because it just won't stack. It, it won't it won't have any effects because people are already too close to 200%. Versus a victory, it's kind of my go-to for these melee DPS groups. But again, I mean, if, if they can't tack on an extra 30% without being over 200, then it's not worth using. But it does boost um, strength, agility. It's it's not it, it, it's pretty beneficial in terms of those melee buffs. But often, even then, my go-to on melee DPS groups is still McVaxius. It's the slowest haste, and the damage shield really isn't needed in a uh, DPS group because they're not taking hits. But um, it's just little enough of a haste that it often will stack. It often will still take effect. So it's only 20% somewhere around 20%. So let me play it. Let me see. So 131. Yeah, it's just 20%. So so long as they're at like 180 on haste, McVaxia to land. That haste component in McVaxia to work. So that's pretty nice. That's a pretty nice component about it. So that's one thing to mention. And then the last one, I very rarely, I almost never use this. But Composition of Urvage is a overhaste that bards get. You get one earlier at level 50, Melody of Urvage, which is a 5% overhaste. And then you have Composition of Urvage, which is a 10% overhaste. And what it is, is say... Um, Is this the higher one? Yeah. Let's say you're uh, okay. You're at 176. You can only play one hay song. You can really only play one hay song at this point because all the other hay songs won't stack. What I mean is, um, all the main hay songs that bards get, you can only play one at a time because they won't stack with each other. So that's as much as I can do right now. But if you add on the uh, Urvage line, this will actually, it's a, it's a secondary stackable haste. So this will actually stack on top. So I can get actually uh, an extra 10. Yeah, 186. I can get an extra 10 if I play these two. Um, the thing, and I think this will also stack with Shaman or Enchanter haste if, if they can tolerate that extra 10%. Again, if you're at like 191, then this composition of Revage is completely useless because you can't go over 200. 
but it can stack if you're like just a bit shy underneath it. Um, but I, I very rarely play this one because oftentimes it's not as useful as having an extra HP regen or whatever it might be. So I often don't use it, but it is there if, if it's desired. Now, uh, in terms of some other meant things to mention, So let's take a look at the mentioned overhaste. <sighs> One thing, uh, this is an absolute must play on rates, occlusion of sound, and you can even do one on top of it. You can play Denon's Bereavement or Foofles. So on a raid, occlusion of sound it must be played. It is an uh, it's a percussion instrument song. It's a unresistible reduction to cold, fire, and magic resist. It helps out tremendously to all the casters. This is actually best played by a bard in a caster group because they have an extra slot. This really doesn't hurt them to play it. Occlusion is something that needs to be constantly kept on a raid mob help out tremendously so this one uh, even if you're in the tank group or in the DPS group you might need to swap out one of the songs in order to have occlusion in there if if you're the bar designated to play this during a raid um, some other things there's some other songs that can also lower magic resist that you can play these are resistible though these can be resisted so you have Fufal's curtailing chant um, this is a dot that you have from an early level that will also lower magic resist, and you can also do Denon's Bereavement, which also lower magic resist, but you have to be in AE range. The only thing I don't like about these two is they have the dot component, so they would break a mez or something, but they're there if you need it. If you really need to get magic resist down, you could play Occlusion with Foofles, and it would help out tremendously. They're both percussion too, so it'd be a pretty big reduction. But um, that is most of what I need to mention. Oh, and then uh, the same thing, like sometimes you might also want to have an AoE snare and slow up if you're in a raid or you're an AoE group, but that's most all I want to mention. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you in the next one.